Hello. So in this lecture, I'm going to discuss about uh, a very interesting topic of digital electronics that is uh, asynchronous asynchronous or ripple counter and especially I'll be discussing about mod 6 asynchronous or ripple count. OK. So asynchronous counter, all of you know what is the meaning of asynchronous counter. In asynchronous counter, whatever the flip flops will be there, the external clock will be applied only in the first stage of the flip flop or in the first flip flop. And the remaining flip flops, the clock will be applied as a output of the previous stage or as the output of the previous flip flop. OK. So this is the meaning of asynchronous or ripple counter. Now what about mod 6 counter? The meaning of mod 6 is it is doing the count from 0 to 5. OK, so how many counts are there from 0 to 5? Total six number of counts. OK. Now, what are the things you need to remember about asynchronous or ripple counter? You have to use only T flip flop or JK flip flop to implement the asynchronous or ripple counter. Why? Because in this flip flops only the toggle state is possible which is very much important for asynchronous counter or ripple counter. OK, so that's why you have to use only T flip flop or JK flip flop to implement the asynchronous counter or ripple counter. So these are the things you need to remember. And in case of asynchronous counter, the external clock only is applied in the first flip flop. OK, that thing I already told in the beginning. OK, now. The second thing is mod 6. So mod 6, what I told, it will do the count from 0 to 5 and 6 number of counts. So if you want to do 6 number of counts, how many variables you need to use? That is minimum at least you need to use 3 variables. So QC, QB and QA. At least you need to use 3 variables or 3 free flops to do the counting. OK, so. What happens actually if you have three flip flops generally in general, what count they do? So if it is zero, the next count they do this is one only. Then if it is the present state is one, the next count is two only. The next state will be two. Like that only it will do the count in case of asynchronous counter. In general case, so if the uh, count is zero, the next count will be one. Then next count is two then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven. So generally it will do eight counts starting from number zero to seven. OK, however, in this case as the problem is given as mod six, so it has to count from zero to five. So six and seven counts are not allowed in this counter. OK, so how to do that? We need to use. We need to take the help of a particular particular. Uh, line or input of this flip flop that is known as clear bar. CLR bar. OK, and you know that is a active low input. So what is the meaning of active low? If you give Zero, then only it will work. For one, it will be deactivated. OK, so if there is a zero count, do we have to deactivate? No. So we need to use one. If it is one count, then also no. If it is two count, then also no. If it is three count, no need to do any deactivation. If it is four, no. Five, no. If it is six, as you know, as the problem is given as mod six means Six count is not allowed in this case and seven count is also not allowed in this case. You can do the count from 
zero to five. If it is five, then immediately you need to come to zero only. Okay, six and sevens are not allowed. So if there is a uh, possibility of come six, immediately we need to deactivate. Uh, sorry, we need to activate the clear terminal. Means immediately the value has to be zero 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 in the counter. Okay, so it means that we need to activate the clear terminal. And how to activate the clear terminal? We need to apply zero here. In this case also, if it is seven also, it has to be zero. Means immediately we need to activate the clear terminal. And how to activate? Because this active low. Again, I am saying if it is active low, it will be activated. Or this particular terminal will work if you apply zero, and it will be deactivated. If you apply one, okay. So as the problem is given as what six counter, we have to use the help of this particular terminal, okay. So if it is less than the number of count, whatever it is possible by the counter, then you need to definitely take the help of this CLR bar terminal, okay. Because you know by using three bit. Suppose if you have three variables or three flip-flops, how many counts are possible? The number of counts are possible is eight and it is from zero to seven. This number of counts are possible and the number of counts are eight only. But if they're telling you need to, uh, you need to implement mod seven counter or mod six counter or mod five counter or mod four counter, in such case, you need to take the help of this clear terminal, clear bar terminal, okay? So it means that if the number of counts are less than the number of possible count possible in this uh, particular counter, in that case, you need to take the help of this clear terminal. Okay. So in this given problem, as we have to do mod six, which is less than the number of possible count by this counter, that is using three variables or three flip-flops, you can do the count up to eight counts. And in the given question, you have to do count up to Six counts means you have to do count from zero to five. So how many counts are possible? Six counts. OK, and actually you can you you could have done up to eight counts as the number of counts which is given in the question that is less than the possible number of case. You need to take the help of this clear part. That is the main understanding of this problem. OK, now what do you need to do? You need to use the KMF to find out the value of the clear. Part. OK. So definitely it will be three variable KMF and the variables are QC, QB and QB. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So do the index in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now put the value of this 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 6 and 7 are not allowed. So this 0 and 0. So you can do some word here using this four. So find out the clear variable value. Mm, so this from there you are getting QC bar by the combination of these four. Let me use different color to show this thing. Using this four, you can get QC bar and you can combine these four to get the other component that is if you combine these four, then from the left side, I think is there. From the top, it will be Q A bar. Okay, so this is the expression. So it means that you have to use this final expression to implement this circuit. Now, how to implement? So as it is, you need to use three flip flops. So draw this uh, initial portion. We have to use three flip flops. One is uh, flip flop number C. Flip flop number C. And you know, uh, suppose I'm using JK flip flop to implement that, you can use T also. Because in both the cases, toggle condition is possible. This flip flop number C, this flip flop number B, this flip flop number A. And it is having two output. That is QC, QC bar. Here also it is having two output. QB, QB bar. It is also having two output. QA and 
QB bar. So in this case, two inputs are there, JCKC. Here two inputs are there, JBKB. Here two inputs are there, JAK. Okay. And what you need to do as it is a synchronous, uh, sorry, asynchronous counter, you need to sort these two inputs. That is the fundamental requirement of synchronous counter and all these things has to be connected to logic one. That you know very well. This is the fundamental requirement of asynchronous counter. This is to be connected to logic one. OK, and you need to apply clock. In the first flip flop. External clock. This is the external clock. You need to apply on the first flip flop and for the remaining flip flops, the output of the. Previous stage will be applied as a clock for the next stage. This is the clock. OK, so external clock is given to the first flip flop and the output of the. Uh, uh, this previous stage will be given to the clock of the next stage. That is the principle of asynchronous counter. Now in this problem, as the sixth and seven count are not allowed, what you need to do? You have to use the clear terminal also. So I'm writing out writing here the clear terminal CLR bar. CLR bar. CLR bar. Now we got the value of CLR bar as QC bar, QA bar. So you will need to take one line from QC bar, another line from QA bar. We need to use because they are having end relation. So we have to use one. Uh, they are uh, having or relation, sorry. So we need to use one or gate. So the output of the OR gate has to be given to each of the clear line. So this clear, as I told, it's a active flow in, so bubble should be there. Each of the clear line has to be connected to the output of this OR gate. OK. So the output is output of this OR gate is connected to each of the clear lines. So when uh, there is a uh, chance to get the value of 110 or 111 immediately, it will be cleared. How? By activating this CLR bar line. So we have made it zero to activate this clear bar. So, for example, if you want to understand this thing, you can see here when QC and QB. Both values are one. You see in these two condition, these values are one only. So in this case, if these both values are one, then immediately you need to activate the CLR bar. So if, if you see here, if your QC and QB value is one, what it is happening? This is QC is one, QB is one. What does it mean? What will be the value of QC bar? That is zero, that is zero. So zero and zero coming to this OR gate and it will remain zero. And zero you are providing to each of the clear bars means you are activating to each of the clear lines. It means that it is immediately getting clear. So the output of the QC, QB and QA will automatically become zero, zero, zero as your clear got activated. OK, so this is the implementation of mod six uh, asynchronous or ripple counter. Thank you very much.